Yo. Let me tell y'all niggas a story, bro. Let me tell y'all niggas a story about Cat Williams. I met Cat Williams when I was like 22 years old. He was like, his name was Cat in the Hat. I was with my big brother, my fucking hero, Corey Holcomb, okay? Um, Corey took me up under his wing and shit. I, uh, this is when we were all chasing our development deals and shit like that. Um, D-Ray had his with Fox. Kevin Hart had his with Fox. And um, this is when they was trying to put the, the show with uh, all three of us. And um, But Corey had his with ABC at the time. And uh, I was running with Corey. You know, he was showing me around and shit like that. And um, he was like, yo, you want to... I think I'll probably get you on this show tonight, but I, I got to go to this comedy show. You want to come with me? And I was like, yeah, let's go. And when we went to this shit, I told this story on a podcast before. Long but time ago. I, 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 I think this, this, this temperature in the industry right now, this story deserves to be told. <laughs> it's, it's, it, it deserves to be fucking told, okay? So I'm with Corey Holcomb. And so you guys get kind of a, a time stamp of w w when this was. This was when the motherfucking movie um, Planet of the Apes was coming out with Mark Wahlberg, the very first one, all right? And the commercials were a hit and really they – it was a lot of commercials for it, all right? But there was um one cut where uh one of the monkeys said, Bow your head, human. <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> this nigga Corey Holcomb, a lady was walking outside of the comedy uh, uh spot inside the Hollywood Park Casino, okay? And I noticed the two ladies because one of them had a fat butt. It was like a pier butt. I love the pier. You ever you ever see a butt that got the pier? That's when they kind of like the wings on the side. <laughs> That's why the ass so fat. Yeah, I like that. Um, so I was looking at that, but I looked at both their faces. And when I was looking at one of their faces, this nigga Corey Holcomb said, bow your head, human. He didn't have to say nothing else. He had to, I knew who the fuck he was talking to, and I know who he was talking about. And I instantly fell the fuck out. When I say I fell the fuck out, I'm on the carpet floor inside the Hollywood Park Casino. Okay. This guy walks up with a perm, with his hair perm to the back, with two ladies on his arm, Walking up ever so elegantly, <laughs> and then he utters these words to Corey, like, "Yo, Corey, what I tell you about bringing these buffoon ass niggas around my shit, man? Come on, man! Like this is unnecessary." And I, I, I had, I had to acknowledge that first round of disrespect towards me because I had to kind of look at myself. Mm. I'm six five. I got on Tim, size 13, with cargo shorts and a hoodie and a vest on in L.A. I'm on the floor laughing like, like this floor isn't fucking dirty and germy. <laughs> I, okay, so let me pick myself up and let me uh, stand up. You think Cat Williams will let me go and, and stop talking about me from that point on? No, no. He proceeds to continue to talk to Corey about me in third person. So I was forced to interject. And the conversation that was being had about me in third fucking person. <laughs> I, 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 st I stared. At the nigga and stood in a way where he had to look at me while he was still talking to Corey about me in third person. You understand? He like, yeah, 
I understand what you're saying, Corey, but when a motherfucker's a buffoon, a motherfucker's a buffoon, <laughs> and I just can't tolerate it. That's what he did. So I said to the nigga, hey, you only got to speak about me in the third when I'm hearing the first. And the nigga snatched his he snatched his arms from the girls that was on his arms ever so elegantly. He snatched them off like, get off me. <laughs> he said, what you say, nigga? I said, you heard what I said. What's up? He said, if you're feeling froggy, nigga, then leap. I said, go ahead with your bullshit, my nigga. Yo, Corey, tell your man. And soon as I said that, this nigga attacked me, bro. Now, when I tell you Corey Holcomb and I thought we caught a body, all right? You, you, you hear the stories about me and martial arts, okay? And, and I don't really talk about it. I love when other people tell the story, all right? I can't wait until we get Corey Holcomb up here because he's going to verify this story. This is Cat Williams, okay? When the nigga lunged at me, I swept him and lifted his body at the same time. It's like jujitsu in a way where you can snatch a nigga and flip him up in the air. I flipped the nigga up in the motherfucking air. The nigga landed on his motherfucking neck. Say if this is Cat Williams, okay? If this is him, he landed, and this is his neck. This is how the nigga landed. Boom. Boom, his body, his neck is like that, and his body <laughs> went this way. His feet touched the ground in a whole nother <laughs> angle, in a whole nother direction, my nigga. We thought, I could, Corey was like, we just looked at each other when, when the nigga went down. I swear on my son, Jawan Harris Martinez, I swear on my son, this motherfucker sprung right the fuck back up. <laughs> like, like, yo, when I tell you he sprung right the fuck back up, like, boing, and scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I grabbed him, and my foot got wrapped up, and his, and his leg, not my foot, my, the back of my knee, that part got wrapped up in the back of in, in his leg. And when I took him down, I sprung my knee. Okay? So now I got the nigga in the dope. I, I'm, I got him in the chokehold. But he's trying to weasel out. So I grab him by the ponytail and I pull him <laughs> back up so I can lock in on his chin. So he can't go down anymore. So once I got the lock in, he's trying to punch me. And I could have demolished this guy, dude. Corey Holcomb's my fucking witness, man. And not only Corey Holcomb, there's some other celebrities in this uh, situation coming up in the story. Um, I, I grabbed the nigga... And I'm showing him everything that I could be doing to him. Instead of punching him, I'm just got my fist in his face like yo fam. <laughs> you see what I could be doing to you? Yo, you see what I could be doing to you? Yo, yo, fam. Yo, stop. Security. Security came and they and it was an old white guy and a black guy. Um, some young black guy. And it was this moment is when I knew I would lay a nigga down for Corey Holcomb and I would I would die for the brother. He sprung into action and he grabbed the security guard niggas up off me. I didn't know nobody out there except for my cousin Derek. I didn't know nobody out there. Okay? Um and Corey 
started screaming at Cat about how wrong he was. That that he he jumped like he jumped on some young ki- some young nigga. I was young. I was like twenty one, yeah. twenty two years old, like, and that shit was not necessary. And I, I'm not a bully, and I hate bullies. I'm the nigga that's gonna bully the fucking bully. You understand me? So when this nigga did that shit to me, I felt like this. I thought he was crazy. <laughs> you knew. <laughs> uh, but what I did know is he was on cocaine. Mm. He was on cocaine. There was no if and a motherfucking fucks about nigga. Because he was sweating refusively in the forehead area. And that's that 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 that's a cocaine sweat. Especially I yo, bro. Bro, you ever hang out with somebody on cocaine and you didn't know they was on cocaine until, until later on? You it's too realize, late. and then once you it's realize, like, like, oh, it's shit. It's too late. You're already <laughs> caught up in this warp, this warp speed life, this world. The nighttime is like 12 noon, yo. <laughs> it's crazy with these niggas. But, um, yeah, Cat Williams, man, he, he, he scared the shit out of me, man, when he attacked me. But, um... I'm glad my big brother Corey Holcomb was there to 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 protect me. So when we, they took and separated Cat Williams and I, he got up so cool. <laughs> he got up so cool, and it's the way he got up, like he whooped my ass. <laughs> the nigga was talking about, yeah, and we're not gonna have this conversation again. And I'm like, huh? What the fuck? And he put, he fixed his hair. He's like, I'm going inside. And he <laughs> he put his arms out. The girls put their arms right back into, and he walked back into the comedy. He walked to the comedy club because he walked. He was walking in when he first saw me on the ground laughing. He wasn't even in yet. But um, yeah. When we're when we're walking away. I didn't want the nigga to know that my leg was sprained. So I would take a step and stop and be like, yo, point at something and be like, <laughs> was that there when we came in? And then I would take another step and stop and be like, yo, do I got any carpet burn? <laughs> and then I noticed somebody was peeking from around a corner in the casino. And it was fucking Reggie McFadden. <laughs> Reggie McFadden from In Living Color was peeking around the corner <laughs> when Cat was inside the fucking comedy club and Corey and I finally got out to the fucking uh, parking lot of the Hollywood Park Casino. Reggie McFadden rolls up on it. And this is the craziest shit because I knew Reggie McFadden from New York. I knew him when he was in New York. Yeah. Um, so when I saw Reggie McFadden, he came up to me acting like he was all concerned about my wealth. Oh my God, Jimmy, I saw everything. Are you all right? Cat's crazy. That was, that was crazy. I'm, 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 I'm glad you're okay, man. And he, 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 he wants me over and then he looked me dead in my eyes and he said, Jimmy, I said, yes, Reggie. I thought he was going to ask me if I needed to go to the hospital or something like that. I think he said. Do you got any weed? <laughs> I said, yo, yo. Cause I used to always give him weed in New York. You know what I mean? I look, I said, yo, this nigga came to really ask me if I had weed. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Reggie McFadden's a wild boy, bro. He a wild boy. He's in Africa right now trying to get niggas to invest in gold mining game uh, 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 caves and shit like oh, that. Oh, word. Yeah, that's my guy, man. He was probably looking to ask you before, and then you got into that scuffle. Oh, shit, that's Jimmy. Let me go ask him. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Let me hide behind the corner. <laughs> oh, man. He's okay. He probably He's probably unaffected. He doesn't like <laughs> oh, shit, man.